Hello, welcome to Excel Highway. In today's video, I want to share with you an employee checklist file that I created in Google Sheets. Now, what's nice about this file is that you can access it from your phone, so you can develop it for your employees and they can just log in through their phones and basically mark all the activities they need to complete, like so. And you can see that already you see the progress chart over here going from white to, to green. As we progress, you have the pro progress percentage um, and it gives you the timestamp of when this uh, box was uh, checked. You have a clear list button that you click, which basically takes out all of the checked box and timestamps. You got a nice place for your company logo and your name. And you see all the tasks over here. Now the tasks are built dynamically. You can just build your master tasks over here. So I have all the task descriptions. This is an example for a restaurant. So you have 26 activities. And for each day of the week, you can just easily flag um, with the checkbox which uh, activities you want to present. And this will appear over here and also appear over here. So if I now change the date from today to tomorrow, I get a whole different set of activities. And um, of course, the task number changes. So if you're interested to learn how to build this on your own, stick around because I'll walk you through step by step all of the different aspects. All right, let's start from the master sheet, which is easier. Master sheet is where you set up your tasks. So you have all the task descriptions. You can have as many as you want. The day of the week, Monday through Sunday, and you have a checkbox. If you're not familiar with adding a checkbox, it's very easy. Click on data, data validation, add a rule, select all the way to checkbox, and select the range over here. You can just change that to whatever you want and click on done. That's how you generate the checkbox. So this is very simple and you build it once for your um, business. Over here is where I show the date or the day of today. How do I do that? I use the function text. I'm referencing um, a cell over here, which is the cell of today. And using this part, which translates or transforms whatever value I have into a text. And I'm using the filter function. Filter, as you can expect, will filter the range. Um, I'm filtering the tasks. Here, I'm using um, offset because I want to understand which column I'm in. In this case, I'm in the column for Monday, so I want to filter based on this column. I want to filter all the tasks for a dynamic column that has the checkbox. So I'm filtering column A, but this part, this range is going to be dynamic. Offset, if you're not familiar, it's a very useful function that will return a, a range, a table, uh, could be one column, could be a table, could be one row, whatever you want. Um, the first argument tells where do you start then how many rows you go down or up, it depends if it's a negative sign, how many columns you go to the right or to the left, again, if it's negative, the number of rows you want to return, the height, and the number of columns you want to return. If everything is blank, it means it's one, essentially. Um, and I'm looking for a value equals true with the um, uh, parentheses. This is the value that's here. You see if it's marked 
as the checkbox it returns it true. And uh, over here in K3 I have the column for that date. So when this changes, if I go over here and I look at tomorrow, first of all you saw everything changed. Now it's Tuesday and now it's going to go to the third column. And you can see immediately if I change things around, um, this will be very dynamic. And um, that is the master sheet. The checklist. First of all, you have the task number. So here's a very simple function I, I like to use. If I have any value here in the cell next to it, I'm just going to use the function row with parenthesis, which returns the row number. Minus 2 because uh, well, maybe it should be even minus 3 because I added a line, I see. Take this all the way down. Yeah, so minus 3 because I added a line. <laughs> so this is task number 1, task number 2. So this this is going to be constant as long as there's something here. So it doesn't matter um, what value it is. It's always going to be, this is always going to be 1, this is always going to be 2. Now, this could be blank because there's nothing here. So that's how you get the task number dynamically. Task description, again I'm using offset and um, I'm just gonna bring the entire table using offset. So in this case I'm offsetting master J3 which is the first task. Then I'm just gonna count how many tasks I have. Count A is counting the um, cells that have any uh, value in them, any text. So I'm just going to go ahead and count everything. This will return, for example, the number 10. So basically it's bringing back the range J3 through J13, uh, 12, sorry. And that's exactly what you see over here. So that's how you get the task description um, dynamically. Checkbox, you saw as before, data, data validation, just a simple checkbox for the entire range and the timestamp this is going to appear automatically using some simple app script before we deep dive into the app script um, this is using today returning the, the date of today the uh, progress number that you see here it's a combination of a function and text so I'm I like to use that so you have like a text and uh, double quotations using the this symbol concatenates um, I'm going to reference a cell to get the number I'm going to use round the number times 100 and 0 this will return an, a number nice uh, number for the percentage not the whole number and add the percentage mark this is coming over here, so here I have the percentage completed and the percentage open. So to calculate the percentage complete, I'm going to count, I'm going to use count ifs, because I have two conditions. First of all, I want to see that this column is true. Then I want to see that I have a real task, because I have more. You see all of the, I don't want these to be counted uh, as progress. So that's why I have double count. And this would be one minus the other. All right, so that is going to reference J2, which is a percentage, but just manipulated so it looks like a percentage. If you don't use the round, it's just going to give you a, a decimal number that doesn't look very nice. I can show you how it's going to look. If I don't use the round, so it looks like this, which is not 0.2. Even if you use it um, times 100 without the round, that's okay. Uh, in this case, we have a nice number, but let's say, yeah, you see how it looks now? 33 point. Da, 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 da. So, respectfully, I'm returning this to this. Last thing before the uh, app script part is this is the sparkline. I'm using a sparkline to create a small chart. So the spark, very simple spark line, two values, uh, open and closed. Then I'm going to use chart type bar, um, semicolon, 
color number one is going to be green, which is the left color, and the color number two is going to be white. If you're not familiar with Sparkline, it's a nice little function that allows you to generate a mini chart within a cell just so you can show trends per rows or things like that. In this case, it's just a good option to just you know show you the progress in a very clear way. So you can see how much you're progressing. And at the end, you get the message, completed checklist that is also uh, app script generated. Okay, um, that's the rough building of the of the file itself. Now let's take a look at the app script that I have here. Two very simple uh, scripts: function on edit uh, and e. This will basically um, work whenever you edit something in the in the file itself. Um, so I want the active sheet and now I want to check I only want this to run for for the checklist sheet for column C and from row 4 I don't want this to work here I don't want this to work anywhere else where I make changes only if someone changes column C from line 4 it's always important to do these kinds of things when you work with the on edit otherwise things will happen that you did not expect so that's why I'm using this if so if the name active sheet get name triple equals checklist and the range column equals three and the row is greater than three. So if all three conditions apply, then this will happen. Otherwise, basically it's the end of the function. So here I'm getting the num the row number using e range get row current time that's going to give me uh, the time now and here's where I'm setting up the value so get range row which is the row of, that I just changed column number four which is column D set value current time so that's going to give me the timestamp and lastly if J2 which is the percentage completed is equal to one then give me that pop-up message Second function I have is the clear checklist. Again, very simple function. Using this to generate the, the reference to a spreadsheet. Check sheet is going to be checklist. And check sheet get range from row number four, column number three, for a thousand lines and two columns. I want to clear the content. So basically, you're just going to clear this out all the way to the bottom. And there you have it. So quick recap, master sheet where you define your tasks and day of the week, checklist will which will be automatically populated every day, uh, clear list to clear it in the morning, make sure everything is okay, and checkbox for your employees to update the time. Now if you see if you if you go very quickly, it doesn't always uh, update everything, but you're going to always have that checkbox with you. All right, if you enjoyed the content, please hit that subscribe, like, and post a comment. And I will see you next time.